This is Gary Gaiman with the Dominate the Day podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to help you get 1% better in your business, provide clarity, and give you some ideas that will help you grow your business. If you're ready to dominate the day, let's go. Dominate the day. That's what we're about to do. If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you. But if you are, then keep listening. Because every single damn day, the mission is, it's to dominate. You already know. We're here to dominate the day. So if you want to dominate every day, then let's go. It's time to grow. This is another episode of Dominate the Day. What's up, Dominate Nation? It's Tuesday. Tuesdays are all about the Titans. Leadership, those individuals who uh, who have blazed a trail, who have uh, created a path. Today I want to talk about a guy who a lot of people refer to as the father of the automobile, which isn't really true. Like He didn't create the automobile. He didn't come up with a way to make the automobile better. What he actually did was he gave us an affordable automobile. And that, I'm talking about Henry Ford. He gave us an affordable automobile. And how did he do that? Well, he created a couple of things. One, the one thing that he created that lives on to this day is the assembly line, where you can plug anyone into a role. And in addition to the assembly line is the theory of interchangeable parts. So having, having a part that can do multiple things. He created those two things, and both of those things can be important to your business. You see, what Henry Ford believed was, if I create a process, and that process is easy to follow and document it and trainable, we can find people to do that process regardless of their skill level. And pretty much he's right. It just may take a little longer for someone to pick up on how they do or what they do but pretty much he's right like he's not wrong an assembly line absolutely allows you to plug people in place and then the theory of interchangeable parts allowed the automobile industry to make a lot of different types of models you see back when the automobile was first invented like you had one model (laughs) each manufacturer had one model and then We didn't start coming out with multiple models until about the 40s. And then you started getting multiple models. Why? Well, because one part could be used on different models. It didn't have to be redesigned for each car model. So how does that apply to your business? Like, How does the assembly line process apply to your business? Easy. SOPs, standard, standard operating procedures, systems that you put in place That allows you to plug people in based upon their abilities, their skill, and their passion. And it allows you to grow and scale your business. You see, standard operating procedure needs to be defined. It needs to be easy to train. And it needs to be easy for someone to step into and do. So standard operating procedures should be broken down into minute detail. You should use fourth grade reading level or lower. You should use a video. You do all of those things to teach the SOPs and allow your people to do the work inside of those standard operating procedures. See, Henry Ford didn't create the automobile. He just made it more affordable. He didn't give us the automobile, but what he did was he gave us a way to streamline our businesses and to be able to scale our businesses. So Henry Ford teaches us a lot in scalability and in streamlining our processes. And if you take his lead and make sure that you have your SOPs in place and you are streamlining your business to its most effective point, then you, my friend, will dominate the day. Dominate the day. That's what we're about to do. If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you. But if you are, then keep listening. Because every single damn day, the mission is, it's to dominate. You already know. We're here to dominate the day. So if you want to dominate every day, then let's go. It's time to grow. This is another episode of Dominate the Day.